Hi guys, I hope you all are doing good. Just yesterday, I got a new software update on my Samsung Galaxy A52 S 5G and it was the all new One UI 4.1 update. And here right now on the screen, I have the change log for this update. Before I go ahead in this video, make sure that you have hit the subscribe button. Help me reach 100K subscribers. And also, if you find this video good enough at some point, do hit the like button as well. All right, so here we have uh, the change log for this latest update. And as you can see that, first of all, we have the add portrait effects. You can now add background blur to any picture with a person in view. The portrait relighting option is there. Convert unnecessary motion photos to still images. Share albums as links, all your invitations together, which allow you to easily accept invitations to shared albums. And then we have the create time lapse videos. We have some new features in the AR zone. We have more decorations for the emoji stickers and the background colors in the mask mode. In the Google Duo, do more uh, during the video calls. Now you can share another app's screen during a video call. In the Google Duo, watch a YouTube video together, share photos, explore maps and more. Or else you can join video calls in the presentation mode. We have some new features in the Samsung Health application too get insights about your body composition, build better sleep habits, enhanced exercise tracking. And then we have a new option in the smart switch application, more transfer options, which means that you will get three options when transferring content to your new Galaxy device. You can choose to transfer everything, only the accounts, contacts, calls, and messages, or go custom to choose exactly what you want to transfer. In the smart things fine, we have a really nice feature. Get notified when you leave something behind. Make lost belongings a thing of the past. You can choose to get alerts whenever your Galaxy Smart Tag is too far away to connect to your phone. Find a lost device together. You can share the location of your devices with others now. If your device gets lost, you can get help from another person to scan it nearby. I think this is a really useful feature. Sharing uh, One UI 4.1 gives you more ways to share with others. Share your Wi-Fi network. Include editing history when you share pictures and videos and share tips with others. And lastly, in the more features and improvements, we have the color palette improvements, more enhancements are there. We can add emojis to the calendar, uh, choose apps for text correction in the Samsung keyboard, more widely available keyboard options, customize your sound balance now, new actions for the Bixby routines, customize your virtual memory and game optimizing service which now uh, removes the limits from the CPU and GPU when you play a game. Okay, let me now show you some of these features in action. I would like to start off with the add portrait effect in the gallery application of the phone. So let's say you have a photo that does not have a portrait effect. For example, I have this photo right here and it does not have a portrait effect right now. What I can do is I can click on the options here and click on add portrait effect. It will now add a portrait effect to the photo and you will see that the background is now blurred and I can also change the intensity of the background right here in the gallery of my phone. Similarly, if you have taken a portrait photo on your phone, for example, I have taken this portrait photo, you can click on the change background effect and now choose one of the effects here and right here in the middle of the screen, you will get the lighting option. Press this dot or move the dot anywhere inside this circle where you want to throw the light or where you want to lower down the light intensity. And this is the relighting effect in the portrait images of the Samsung Galaxy A52 S 5G. Now remember guys, all the features that I am sharing in this video, these are also available in the Samsung Galaxy A52, the A52 5G A72 and all other Samsung Galaxy A devices that have got the Samsung One UI 4.1 update. Okay, uh, the next feature, uh, remove unnecessary motion from your photos. For example, I uh, have this motion photo right here. You can see that it's a motion photo. Now, the motion photos take a lot of space in your phone. And if you just remove the motion from the photos, you can save that space. So in this motion photo, you can click on the options button here and click on delete video clip. What this will do is it will delete the motion from the photo and we will get a static photo, which will be very much light in size. The sharing options are something that you can explore on your own when you need them. The last option here, create time lapse videos. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get this option working in any of my broad daylight images 
with the sky or with the water and i did look up on reddit as well uh, no one has been able to uh, get this feature uh, to work so far so if you have got this feature and you have got it working make sure to uh, mention it in the comments below let me show you the color palette options now uh, you know that color palettes made it to the samsung one ui4 with the android 12 and uh, the color palette uh, will basically give a theme to the entire elements of your phone the theme that's been picked uh, through the wallpaper of your phone and this option resides here inside the wallpaper settings so now the color palette is supported by some other applications the third party applications and especially the google apps so for example if you have any google app on your phone let's say i want to look at the play store the play store will now have the accents chosen in the color palette of your phone previously the color palette worked only for the native samsung applications uh, or the theme elements of the samsung one ui only but now the color palette theme has made its way to the non samsung applications and the google applications are the first ones to get the color palette effect you guys must have seen uh, the virtual ram feature uh, in your phone back in the day the virtual ram features were really limited but now you have multiple options for the virtual ram so if you want to increase the ram of your phone you will just go to the device care memory and in the memory settings you will get ram plus in the ram plus you can see uh, 4 gigs 6 gigs and 8 gigs so so if i just add 8 gigs now it would mean that i can extend my galaxy a52 s 5g's 8 gigs ram to 16 gigs by using this ram plus option given in the phone the ram plus will take this 8 gigs from the internal storage of my phone and start using it as the ram if you go to the accessibility settings and here uh, check out the hearing enhancements at the bottom you can see the left right sound balance uh, so the connected audio is a left right sound balance for the bluetooth devices and then we have the left right uh, sound balance for the phone speakers so based on uh, your hearing needs you can just adjust the sound coming out of your connected device or your phone's speaker now you can also add emojis to the calendar application for example i want to add an emoji to uh, a particular day alongside an event let's say i want to do something with the 7th of april i can just go to the 7th april and uh, i can click on this emoji at the bottom and it will give me an option to choose an emoji of my choice for example i want to go ahead with this one and now you can see that we have this emoji link to the 7th of april this looks pretty cool the samsung keyboard has seen uh, some improvements as well you can now choose what applications do you want to use the correction in for example i want to use the keyboard correction in other applications other than messages and I want to enable those applications. So first of all, I can just go to the keyboard settings here. Inside these settings, we have suggest text corrections. And here we have the manage apps. So we can get uh, the correction suggestions inside all these applications. The last feature here in the change log is the game optimizing service. The CPU GPU performance during early stages of the gameplay will not be limited anymore. A performance management feature based on device temperature will be maintained. The alternate game performance management mode in Game Booster will be provided. Third party apps to bypass the game optimizing service will be allowed. You must have seen that a few days back there was a debate going on about Samsung's manipulation of the benchmark applications by putting some limits on its hardware. Samsung has now come out clear and it has explained the entire situation and uh, this game optimizing service update comes out as a part of that debacle. Okay, now inside uh, the game launcher, we have a new option. Uh, in the game launcher, you have to go to the game booster. And inside the game booster, we get labs. Now in the labs, you can use the alternate game performance management. It says that you can use an experimental game performance management system that may improve some game performance tends to cause heating as well. So if you want to fully unleash the real potential of your device, you can choose to go ahead with the alternate game performance management or keep using the phone in its stock state. And that's all with all the practical changes in the Samsung One UI 4.1. I would like to tell you guys once again that all these features are also available on the Samsung Galaxy A52, A72 and other Samsung Galaxy A devices that have got the Samsung One UI 4.1 upgrade, which is why uh, I have set the title for this video to One UI 4.1 review for the Galaxy A52s, A52 and the A72 because this is 
a same software for all these devices. Make sure to drop your own feedback and thoughts about this update in the comment section down below. Hit the like button if you found this video useful and subscribe if you haven't yet. With that being said, I will sign off and see you all in the next one.